Barry Peterson. You started off tonight uh, explaining that you read every email and letter that had come to you. No, you didn't. Uh, half the people who send emails don't know what a deficit is. And if you didn't get a couple hundred in accurately describing it, I need my hat, and I really like my hat. Um, you didn't even put a little bubble on the PowerPoint. It was, and the way I see things, now I don't know, I'm not in the secret board meeting things, but this is a pretty convenient house cleaning thing. You made a couple of snide remarks about the teacher labor force negotiations. It was cute. You got the fencing team on the line, the team that has been burdened time and again, kicked out of closets into sewage-soaked basements, and not only survived, but fought through to grow into a mighty force, strong together. You're getting guitar, jazz clap, a choir, speech, what else? I don't know. I guess I wasn't listening. I mean, I didn't hear baseball, football, basketball. I heard the part about the teacher cuts, but I missed the superintendent's salary cut. Uh, but serious folks, I'm here all of you. Uh, here's the deal. What you need to decrease, uh, you need to decrease expenditures to the closer to your revenues. I get it. Um, you even need to do it significantly. Take half of what you suggested and it'd still be a significant cut. You know, get it closer and then work with us to ride out the bad economy that you ask us to remember as though we'd forget. What seems to be happening is you're packaging all the problem areas together, building this fallacy that needs to be cut or else we all fire all the teachers, we have to pay all our money into taxes. No, let's cut money in smart uses, don't cut the out-of-district tuition, cut the salary of the highest administrative figures, cut the bi-weekly warrior rallies and to build school spirit. Oh Lord, please cut the superintendent's salary. I actually took a business class or two. Studies say this, cutting the people on the field costs much more over time, or as you would say, higher projected deficit, that these emergency budget cuts cost way more than slowly reducing positions over time. By the way, guy the speaker telling everyone to shut up and telling us that we are losing out because we have to listen to each other, that only works if we don't want to listen to each other. And, son, as taxpayers, you forget your place. You're our bitches, not the other way around.